here we'll be concentrating on differentiating trigonometric functions. And the most common ones which are used are cosine, sine, and tangent. So as you can see, when you differentiate cosine of x, you get minus sine of x. When you differentiate sine of x, you get cosine of x. When you differentiate tangent of x, you get sec squared x. In this particular question, we're asked to differentiate 2 cos 3x. So the first thing we need to do is check what cos differentiates to. We can see from our list that cos differentiates to minus sine. So we'll apply that here. Cos is going to differentiate to minus sine. So it's 2 times, instead of cos 3x, we have minus sine 3x. What we must also do is differentiate the number beside the cos. So it's cos 3x, so if we differentiate 3x, we get 3. So we differentiate that and multiply. So 2 by 3 is 6, by minus sine 3x is minus 6 sine 3x. So just to recap on that, it was 2 cos 3x, so we keep the 2, cos 3x differentiates to minus sine 3x, and we differentiate the angle beside the cos and multiply. So when we differentiate 3x, we get 3, so we multiply by 3. 2 by 3 is 6, by minus sine 3x gives us minus 6 sine 3x. Our next question, y equals minus 3 sine 5x. So we'll just check what sine differentiates to. So we can see from our list that sine differentiates to cos. So we'll apply that here. We've got dy dx is equal to minus 3 times so sine 5x differentiates to cos 5x. We must also differentiate the number beside sine and multiply. So when we differentiate 5x, we get 5, so we multiply by 5. Minus 3 by 5 is minus 15 times cos 5x. On to our next example. Here we have minus 5 times tan 2x squared. So we have to differentiate this, so we'll just check what tan differentiates to. So you can see from the list, tan x differentiates to sec squared x. So back to our question, we're differentiating y with respect to x. So it's minus 5 times tan differentiates to sec squared. 2x squared is the number beside it. So we must differentiate the number beside the tan now. So 2x squared, when we differentiate that, we get 4x. So we have minus 5 by 4x gives us minus 20x times sec squared 2x squared. So just to recap on that, we have minus 5 keep that, times tan differentiates to sec squared 2x squared. We differentiate the number beside tan, so when we differentiate 2x squared, it's 4x, and we multiply by that. Minus 5 by 4x gives you minus 20x by sec squared 2x squared.